nothing like running uphill for 32k. Go, Max! Set! Go! Let's get up here, Andrew. As you've probably gathered from my last videos, I'm not the greatest runner in the world, but normally by the time I'm walking, it's at least well into the run. But today, it's only about one or two k's in, and already they've chucked a nice juicy hill in for us, which when you're doing a 32 k run, the last thing you want to do is use all your energy getting up the very first hill. Here's some of our fantastic volunteers. There we go, hello. hello. Thank you. Hi. Just about to hit another big hill and uh, other than, that, other than that, my cough's back. It's kept me out for a week or so. So hopefully that'll settle down so I can get through the next 20 k's without coughing up a lung. Managed to get across that without getting too wet, which is good. Although I have a little of a problem with one of my feet. And the question now is, do I stop and try and do a bit of a running repair? Or do I push through to the end and just uh, make it up as I go along? Weirdly, I've got Absolutely no idea where we are at the moment. I guess we're at about the halfway mark somewhere. And there's heaps of creek crossings. So, it's keeping it interesting. Although we're lucky enough to have pulled a sunny day today, there's been enough rain lately that the trail's still pretty slippery around here. <laughs> How are you finding the run? Oh, great. Yeah. It's a long way to go, though. <laughs> running strong. So we've hit a bit of a snag. We've got no idea which way we're going. Let's put that to the test. Using the uh, mobile phone torch here just to make sure I don't take a, a wrong step. That was the echo tunnel. Tunnel. Thank God we're not going that way. Today's run takes us through some very treacherous drop bear country. Past a few in the trees and been very lucky that uh, managed to get through unscathed and there my friends is the mythical drop bear waiting to pounce on a unsuspecting runner very dangerous those things I got no idea really where we are how far I've run or how long I've been running for all I know is that I'm absolutely stuffed um, I slowed down what I'll refer to generously as a rock, somewhere between a slow run and a walk, a bit of the old Cliff Young shuffle. And just past a waterfall I never even knew existed. So, just doing it a little bit tough in some of these steeper bits. And quite muddy here too.
So even though it's been a corker of a day, um, there's still heaps of water around from the last week or two of rain and storms and general mayhem. Plus I'm sure this is a really walkable trail in summer at the moment. It's a bit more like a, like a small stream really and not a lot of fun. Very slippery, very muddy and not what I need at this point. That's one of the caterpillars that just overtook me. I'm going so slow. Oh, it sure is a slow point. Although to be fair, there's been quite a few of those. I'm starting to really struggle now. I've just walked up quite a steep hill. And uh, what I really want to do now is fall over and die. What, what, I, what I am going to do is start running again. Any second now. So we're getting close now. At least there's a sign that says Mount Lofty. So we're coming across the freeway. It's um, been really tough going today. But, um, yeah, nearly there. Legs are sort of hanging in there. My toes are pretty sore. Stick around and I'll show you why when we get, get to the end. Just make sure you're... <laughs> Sorry, struggling to breathe. Yeah, just make sure you're not eating. You watch that bit. And my guess is it's not going to be pretty. I'm not far out now, maybe just, maybe even just 1k or something like that. And I had hoped for sort of a strong finish, give it everything and finish up nice and strong, but the truth is I'm struggling just to put one foot in front of the other at the moment. Okay, that was the 32k Cedar Summit run. Uh, basically we started off as far as you can see down there on the beach at Brighton Beach and made up our way made our way up here to Mount Lofty and today I managed to do that in four hours 26 and uh, yeah it was probably one of the tougher runs I've done in a while because obviously it's uphill pretty much all the way um, yeah and probably the biggest injury I have other than my hips hurting a bit is my toes uh, and I'll show you what's going on there So I think that came off about halfway through the run. That's kind of the result of a couple of months ago, I did a uh, climb in uh, up a mountain in Bali and my, both my toes got quite badly bruised from coming down the mountain in a pair of crappy shoes. But um, yeah, halfway through that run, I thought it might've come a bit loose. <laughs> so I might have to uh, get a hammer and <laughs> knock that nail back in. Looks like the other one's come a bit loose as well. I did warn you, don't watch that while you're 